Hello everyone, and welcome to my very first Neverwinter quiz. Sorry for not uploading content for quite some time. Unfortunately, life kind of needs a lot of attention, especially currently. But fortunately, I had a few days off, and I spent those few days creating this quiz for you. Alright, now before we jump straight into the quiz, let's cover over how this is going to work. So there's going to be four categories of increasing difficulty. You're going to have an easy difficulty, a normal difficulty, a hard difficulty, and an insane difficulty. Each of the four categories will have five questions, and that will give you a total of 20 questions to answer during this quiz. Each question will have four multiple choice answers, so if you're not sure, you can always guess. And after the question and the possible answers have been given, I will give you five seconds before revealing the answer to you. So it might be a good idea to pause the video so you have a little bit of time to think before answering. And of course, don't forget to keep track of your score so you can know where you are on the ranking list. And of course, feel free to include your rank and score in the comments below. And without further ado, let's begin the quiz. Good luck, everyone. Easy difficulty, question one. How many classes are there in Neverwinter as of Mod 18? Is it A, 6, B, 7, C, 8, or D, 9? And the answer is C, 8. That's right, there are 8 classes right now as of Mod 18. You have the Fighter, the Rogue, the Ranger, the Barbarian, the Cleric, the Warlock, the Wizard, and of course, the Paladin. Question 2 During the tutorial, you end up crossing the Sleeping Dragon Bridge. What is the name of the boss you fight and kill after meeting Valindra for the first time? Is it A. Vancy Bloodscar B. The Harbinger C. The Umber Hulk or D. Sergeant Knox And the answer is B. The Harbinger The very first boss you meet in the game and an easy one as well Question 3 During the quest Clockwork Guild 2 in Neverdeath Graveyard, there is a riddle known as Question of Time. What is the answer to that riddle? Is it A, 12, B, Midnight, C, Noon, or D, Feeding Time? And the answer is A, 12, being that it is the lightest and darkest hour. Unless you go by military time using the 24-hour format, but semantics. Question 4. What is the name of Minsk's sidekick slash pet? Is it A. Bob, B. Borg, C. Baby, or D. Boo? And the answer is D. Boo. Don't let his cute face fool you. He's quite dangerous. Question 5. Which of the following is not a currency used in Neverwinter? Is it A. Gold B. Astral Diamond C. Azerite or D. Guildmarks And the answer is C, Azerite. That's right. Azerite is actually from World of Warcraft and not from Neverwinter. All right, so that was five questions in the easy category. I hope you're keeping score because now we are moving into the five normal questions. Here we go. Normal difficulty, question one. 
which enchantment at rank 11 when slotted into an offensive slot gives 880 critical strike, 440 armor penetration, and 440 accuracy since mod 16? Is it A, Assassin, B, Gigantic, C, Black Ice, or D, Demonic? This was a bit of a harder one for you, but if you remember that accuracy used to be recovery, then you should be able to work out that the answer is B, gigantic. I know it's not the nicest of questions, but don't worry, it all goes downhill from here. Question two. Which legendary mount is available in the Internal Flames lockbox? Is it A, Coastal Flail Snail, B, Armored Axe Beak, C, Black Ice War Horse, or D, Armored Giant Strider? And of course, the answer is D, the Armored Giant Strider. It's the only legendary mount in that lockbox. Question 3. What two hunt trophies are required to create a lure to fight Rasalus? Is it A, a Razor Tyrannus Rex Spine and Driftwood Shield, B, Chitter Spinret and Red Fang Spear, C, Eo Tyrannus Talon and a Batiri Brave Trinket, or D, Cold Stones and a Blood Caked Cutlass? Boy, some of those were fun to say. And the answer is B, Chitter's Spinneret and Red Fang's Spear. Of course, Rosalis is from the Lost City of Omu, so should have been able to help narrow it down a bit. All right, moving on. Question four. The Polar Bear Cub Companion is part of which type of companion group? Is it A, Creatures, B, Beasts, C, Mystical, or D, Fighters. And the answer is B, Beasts. And now for the final question in the normal difficulty category. Don't worry, I made this one a bit easier, just so I could boost up your confidence before I completely destroy it in the hard category. Question 5. Which of the following is not a zone to fight a dragon for the Tyranny of Dragons campaign? Is it A, Whispering Caverns, B, Roth Valley, C, Velosk, or D, Ebon Downs? And the answer is C, Velosk. There are five leveling zones in which you fight dragons for the campaign, but Velosk isn't one of them. That's where the werewolves are. All right, that is the end of the normal questions. That's 10 down and only 10 more to go. How you doing so far? All right, we're gonna up the difficulty one more time to hard, so good luck and don't forget to keep score. Hard difficulty, question one. What is the name of the tavern when you first enter into Ebon Downs? Is it A, Mourner's Rest Tavern, B, Driftwood Tavern, C, Broken Crown Tavern, or D, Faerun Tavern? And the answer is A, Mourner's Rest Tavern. Driftwood Tavern is in Protector's Enclave, and the Broken Crown is actually an inn. And as far as I know, Faerun Tavern doesn't exist in Neverwinter. At least not yet. Question 2. What is the total cost of refinement points to upgrade an artifact from Common, the green color, to Mythical, the teal color? Is it A, 
499,580, B, 489,555, C, 502,585, or D, 500,000. I bet that made your brain hurt. And the answer is A, 499,580. Talk about a random number. Should have just rounded it to 500K to make things easier. Oh well, moving on. Question three. Hazel, the alchemist, is located in which of the following leveling zones? Is it A, Never Death Graveyard, B, Helm's Hold, C, Pirate Skyhold, or D, Black Lake District. And the answer is D, Black Lake District. It's also the zone where you receive your first additional bag, so always a good idea to do that particular zone. Question four. What is the total amount of lost idols you require to fully complete the Omu campaign, including the hunts and boons? Is it A, 1,575, B, 1,450, C, 1,525, or D, 1,700? And the answer is D, 1,700. I know this was an evil question, but one, just think of how long it takes you to collect 1,700 of them. And two, if you think that was evil, oh, just wait. We're still only on the hard questions. <laughs> Next question. Question five. Which of the following enchantments does not give a bonus to XP when slotted into a utility slot? Is it A, Brutal, B, Woven Tales, C, Shiny Coin, or D, Savage? This one was a bit easier since Brutals and Savage enchantments have been around for a while, but the answer is B, Woven Tales. They do not give XP, Instead, they give companion an influence in gold. All right, that has completed the five hard questions. I hope you're still keeping score, because here comes the insane questions. Good luck, you're gonna need it. Insane difficulty, question one. What is the total amount of refinement points required to upgrade an enchantment from rank one to rank 15? Is it A? 323,593, B, 321,607, C, 319,109, or D, 329,991. Wow. I told you these ones were insane. And the answer is B, 321,607. Once again, Neverwinter's throwing out random numbers. I don't know why they just don't make it an even 320,000. Ah, well, minor details. Moving on. Question two. Scar Alley is located in which zone in Neverwinter? Is it A, the Chasm, B, Helm's Hold, C, Mount Hot Now, or D, Dreadring? And the answer is B, Helm's Hold. And speaking about quest lines here, here's the next question. Question three. Which of the following quests is not in the Pirate Skyhold zone? Is it A, Search and Seizure, B, The Dead City, 
C, Black Daggers Buccaneers, or D, Tracking Through Blood? And of course, the answer to this one is D, Tracking Through Blood since it is the one from Black Dagger Runes where you have to kill five blood trackers. Question four. My apologies in advance if I butcher any of these trying to pronounce them. Which of the following is not a move attack performed by Strahd von Zerovich? Is it A. Ador B. Angad C. Lutgang or D. Zornho Sorry if I completely butchered those names, but the answer is C. Lutgang. Lutgang is actually a move from the second boss in Castle Ravenloft, not the final. Alright, we are almost there. Just one more question to go. Are you ready? I hope so. Question 5. Which of the following is a drow only quest? Meaning, your character must be of the drow race in order to receive this quest. Is it A. Playing the double cross? B. Evacuate Black Lake? C. Assigning blame? Or D. Trolling for support? And the answer is A, playing the double cross. All right, now the time has come to see what your rank is. So if you've got zero to four questions right, you've earned the title of rookie. If you have five to nine questions right, you've earned the title of casual. If you've got 10 to 14 questions right, you've earned the title of standard. And if you got 15 to 19 questions right, you've earned the title of veteran because apparently you've been playing a lot. And of course, if you have 20 questions right out of 20, you are a deity among mortals and an intervention is definitely needed on your part. All right, thank you so much for playing. Please don't forget to include your rank and score in the comments below. And please, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, queries, or any type of feedback you wish to leave, please also include in the comments below, as it helps me to improve my video quality for all of you to enjoy. So thank you all so much, and I wish you all the very best. Bye for now.